Okay guys, um, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use the fullness tool. Um, there's actually two of them. Um, one of them is gonna add fullness based on just one point in your pattern. And the other one um, adds fullness like along an entire line as the pivot. So instead of like a pivot point, it's like a pivot line. Um, so let me show you what that is. I'll, at the end, I'll kind of go over the difference one more time. So you have this pattern to use and what we're gonna do, we're gonna add fullness to the sleeve, um, mostly around the cuff. We're gonna leave the shoulder the same. So um, we'll use the tool to like pivot off a point for that. And then um, we also have a skirt, it's kind of straight right now. We're gonna change it into almost like a circle skirt. So that's where we'll use the fullness along a line part of the tool. Okay, so we have already some internal lines drawn for us. Um, so that's good. So we're gonna find the fullness tool on mine. It's the third one down and I'm gonna start with the point The fullness point tool. So it's the top one. So I'm gonna click it. So because I already have internal lines All I have to do is click one time Let's say I didn't have an internal line. Well, you could just go draw one But let's say you didn't you can click one time and then click one time and then there you go you have like kind of an internal line so it's not the end of the world if you don't have an internal line and then you can use the tool i'm just going to hit um edit undo um because i'm just going to show you how to just click the segment line okay so here's my segment line i'm just going to click it one time and then now i get to pick which side i want to rotate so um rule of thumb you should really always rotate the outer sides before the inner sides um play around with it see what happens um but that's just a rule of thumb that I've picked up along the way. I'm gonna click this one time and I'm gonna rotate it. And you can see the number underneath, like, okay, let's add 12 inches, right? Um, but it's like, you know, it's like not 12.0, it's like 12 point something else. So if you really wanna control it, I think 12 is actually too much. Let's bring it down to like, hmm, like four inches. I'm having trouble getting 4.00. So I can just right click if the distance is important to you and I'll just type in the number four and say, okay. All right, and then it's thinking about it and it's gonna change my pattern piece to now add that fullness. So it's kind of like slash and spread, if you guys remember that from beginning pattern drafting. Um, okay, I'm gonna simulate, I'm gonna hit the space bar. Let's see what this looks like. As you can see, we got a little bit of fullness, so that's cool. I'm gonna unsimulate by hitting a space bar. Okay, I'm gonna do the other side. So again, I'll just click it. it and I want I don't want my arrow to point up because if my arrow is pointing to the shoulder seam, it'll add the fullness at the shoulder. Today, I'd rather add it at the cuff. So I'm gonna make sure my arrow is pointing down. Click one time. I can pick whichever side, but I like to start with the outer sides. So I'm gonna click this outer side. And you know, I might as well make it match the other side, right? So I'm gonna right click and type in four, hit return. Okay, cool. I'm gonna simulate by hitting the space bar. Okay, give it a minute to think about it. Look at all that beautiful volume, wow. Okay. okay, so we have one in the middle, so I'm gonna click that guy. Now, what side should I pick, right? What if I want both sides? If you want both sides, all you gotta do is click the arrow in the middle and just click and hold it and it does both sides. There you go. I'm not gonna right click this time, I'm just gonna eyeball it. Since it's doing both sides anyways, and then you click one time to set it. Here comes the fullness. Let's space bar that guy. Wow, so much. Okay, cool. You guys can add more if you want. I mean, volume's kind of in right now, so I, I feel like I was a little conservative, to be honest with you. Okay, but moving on. Um, so let's do it to the skirt. Now, the skirt. Let me show you why it's not really ideal to use, oh gosh, I hit space bar, darn it. I, sometimes I think I'm on, um, what do you call it, Illustrator, and I hit space bar when I try to pan. Okay, all right, there we are. Um, so, okay, so I'm gonna show you the bad way to do it. So let's say I'm using the same tool and I wanna add fullness to my skirt. I wanna turn it into like a circle skirt. I can click one time here, I can click one time here. There's like my kind of internal line. I'll click one side and then I'll add my fullness and then I'll click one time just to kind of set it. 
So do you see the weird shape we have around the waist? Usually circle skirts don't have a 90 degree angle. Um, so as a pattern maker, I'd wanna go in and clean that up. Um, I don't mind, and then honestly, yeah. Yeah, I mean, at least I have the circle, I guess, at the bottom. But um, but let me show you, it, it's still not perfect because it's like straight, you know, on the other parts. So that's why they also have the fullness line tool. So you can distribute fullness along a line as opposed to just one point. Kind of confusing at first, but I think as you like do more pattern drafting, it might make more sense. So I'm gonna just hit Command Z. I don't want to do that, okay. So I'm gonna switch over to the other tool, the fullness line. So you're basically selecting two different lines. So here it's like, okay, which one do you wanna add fullness? I guess I wanna add fullness to the hem. So I will click that. I had to click it twice. I had to click the start of the line and then where I want it to end, okay? Now it's like, well, where would your slash lines go? I guess at the waist. So I'll click right here and I'll click right here. And this window pops up now. I also, just so you notice, my arrows, they're pointing that way to the right. It's because I clicked my first click on the left and my second click on the right. So you can control the direction of your arrows based on, on the order of your clicking. That might be kind of like uncomfortable at first when you guys kind of start using this. Okay, so I guess this is just the default. This is what the length is. Um, so right now my hem is a little bit longer than my waist. It's like 9.6. So I'm just gonna go ahead and change it. So as you see, what's nice is that I'm getting a smooth curve all the way around where when I use that pivot one, oh, I wish I still had it so you guys can compare it. It was like straight still. And then it curved and then it went back straight again. Like it's kind of nice that it's just like distributing the, the curve evenly. And then same with the waist. I'm getting a nice curve line too. I'm not getting a weird 90 degree angle. So that's kind of neat. If I wanted, I can also like I guess add some curve to my waist, but I think in this case, I don't really want to do that. I'd rather just leave it. Um, I guess I have to type in zero. Okay, so you can make a full circle skirt if you want. I guess, ooh, that's even more than a circle skirt. Um, up to you. I'm just gonna say, okay. Woo, okie dokie. I guess it's only on her back right now. I'm gonna pan and we're gonna space bar that guy. Let's see, ooh, is it too much fabric? Is it gonna freak out on me? <laughs> I have confidence. It'll 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 work itself out. Okay. I want to zoom in so bad, but I'm like, let's just be patient and wait. Cool. Now she's got some stripes on her. That's part of the pattern. You guys can see those pattern pieces right here. That's not because of like what I did right now, just in case you didn't notice that pattern piece. It's like the athletic look, so don't worry about that. Um, you know, I think that was actually the front. Yeah, okay, yeah, that was the front. Cool, so wow, the front has, you know, it's it's like a circle skirt, it has a lot more fullness. Um, so there you go. Um, and then the back is still kind of straight. So I could do the same to the back as well. Um, so again, I just really wanna make sure you guys understand the difference between adding fullness, to, like just to a point, um, or you can also spread it along an entire line. Um, so that's how that tool works. So go ahead and give us a shot and just um, screenshot it once you're done just to share with the class.